All new tonight as more Valley High Schoolers head back to class. Topic of financial literacy is front and center at one local school. And those hoping to play college sports are paying extra close attention. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke reporting from Centennial High School in Peoria. Where's healthcare at? The Centennial football players in this room put their helmets down for a day and they were put in a new position they've likely never played before. Like Dylan Roberts, a starting defensive tackle who's committed to playing with the Northwestern Wildcats after he graduates. But today, I am a graphic designer. Each student was given a sheet detailing their job, salary, family status, and student loan payments. Then they went to different centers around the cafeteria that represent life's everyday costs like housing and health care to see if they can afford to keep their finances in line. Is that enough? No. I mean, barely. I ended up with $15. There were even surprise expenses if you could get past the wheel of life. Oh, appendicitis. What is that? All of this put on by the Arizona Council on Economic Education. They realized talking about Roth IRAs and 401ks with high school students can be a challenge to stay engaged in the TikTok era. So no better to hear about the importance of money management than from an NFL linebacker like Brandon Copeland. When I came into the NFL, I started hearing a lot of information that I was like, why am I just hearing this for the first time now? And now with college athletes able to benefit from their name, image and likeness or NIL, Copeland urges the next generation of athletes to read the fine print before signing on the dotted line. The scary thing about it is when you don't understand your money, it, you can fall victim to bad actors. Finding reliable guidance on how to manage money isn't always easy. Elena Z with Arizona Council on Economic Education is trying to change that with events like these. And the parents tell us that they feel more comfortable talking to kids about sex and drugs than money. Outside of this financial fitness exercise, Dylan's learned life can come at you fast. He says he's already talking about NIL deals. It has definitely opened up a lot of like doorways and I've already had people like starting to talk to me about stuff like that. In Peoria, Jordan Bonnke, ABC 15, Arizona.